so good afternoon children today we are going to start a new topic that is about drdo turn to page 64 turn to page 64 okay children what is drdo what is the full form of drdo yes man defense research and development organization very good defense research and development organization so the rdo is the acronym of defense research and development organization it is an indian organization which is responsible for military research and development so whatever research and development is done by military people you know related to that only they everything is done where in this research center under drdo right they do it the main aim of drdo is to design develop and lead to production state of the art sensors weapon systems platforms and elite equipment for our defense services right so whatever you know whatever uh, our defense services whatever equipment our defense services are using everything is designed developed and production of that is done under the art done by the rdo people right by this organization okay provide technological solutions to the defense services to optimize combat effectiveness and to promote well being of the troops so the troops said what do you mean by troops it is a collective now is it a collective yes. yes so yes ma'am yes you yes, have done it in english it's a collective yes, now so well being of troops to promote well being of troops you know they work accordingly their solutions they provide technological solutions to defense services you know if they are lacking somewhere in technology if they have any issue regarding that so they sort it out so that the effectiveness of combat is optimized it, it is to its maximum and the well being of troops is also looked after right then develop in develop infrastructure and committed quality manpower and build strong technology base so the work of drdo is to develop the infrastructure and to check the quality of the manpower you know whatever manpower is utilized whatever manpower is uh, you know they are using it it is effective it is of good quality or not and they are are they committed or not and to develop the infrastructure also is the work of drdo and they build strong technology base that is also their work so whatever new technologies are coming these days in defense everything is done by planned by designed by drdo right drdo was formed in 1958 by merging the technical development establishment of the indian army and the directorate of technical development and production with the defense science organization so in 19 when in 1958 when yes children i want your response yes in 1958 diadio was formed in 1958 yes in 1958 the rdo was formed and how did it form they merged merged means mix kiya do kisko technical development establishment jo indian army ka technical development establishment tha that is tde is and the directorate of technical development and production that is dtdp and the defense science organization so these three were merged and formed drdo in 1958 okay it is administered by the ministry of defense 
government of india thus the defense minister of india is the head of drdo right so who is the head of drdo ma'am defense minister yes defense minister of india is the head of the drdo because drdo yes yes beta drdo because drdo is ministered by ministry of defense government of india so ministry of defense means ministry of defense is uh, uh, checked by the defense minister is governed by the defense minister and who is the defense minister of india rajna minister rajna singh right rajna singh yes so it has its headquarters at the rdo bhavan in new delhi so headquarters of the rdo is at the rdo bhavan new delhi right clear this much yes ma'am okay yes ma'am is it ma'am yes you can see the uh, yes yes beta ma'am uh, as you say that ma'am all the things uh, which are needed by to the military uh, like army is made by the rdo so ma'am uh, the islands which are made, made for our uh, indian army is also made by the rdo yes everything everything whatever they are doing see whatever is here it is clearly mentioned whatever technology whatever weapons whatever things are utilized by defense services is administered manufactured planning everything of that thing you know each from scratch they do everything this is drdo and drdo comes under ministry of defense and who looks after who is the head of the drdo the defense minister of india and who is the defense minister of india the prime minister you can see your rajna singh and this is the picture of the rdo bhavan the rdo bhavan where is the rdo the rdo is in the rdo bhavan that is new delhi right in new delhi right so the drdo employs over 30000 employees out of which 5000 are scientists and remaining 25000 are other scientists scientific technical and supporting personnel so when we talk about the employees so drdo everybody you know every organization need employees kaam karne ke liye unko employees chahiye do they need it or not they need people yes. to work right so drdo employees over 30000 employees that means give jobs to how many people almost 30000 more than 30000 and out of those 30000 5000 are scientists so they need 5000 scientists and remaining 25000 are scientific technical and supporting persons they need supporting persons also if everybody will be the leader who will uh, you know work according to the leader so they they need supporting personals also but the team is technically equipped because technical quality if they don't have any technical qualification how are they going to support okay and it is one of the india's largest and most diverse research organizations so in delhi the rdo has its headquarters right otherwise this organization they have their branches all over india okay and uh, because they have 30000 employees they have 30000 employees out of which 5000 are scientists and remaining 25000 are scientific technical and supporting persons right and it is the india's largest and most diverse research organization i hope this much is clear Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Okay. Now, 52 laboratories across the country are engaged in developing defense technologies, which cover varied areas. So, how many labs are there? 52 across the country. Yeah, and they are developing. They are engaged. 52, and they are engaged in developing defense technologies. you know and it covers where where i very you know the area is not limited it is very vast 
because initially only they have mentioned that they are working on everything and they are not talking about only army defense services so aeronautics armaments electronics combat vehicles engineering system instrumentation missiles advanced computing simulation special materials naval systems life sciences training information systems and agriculture so they are working on so many things okay they are really you know working hard and they have different uh, see every organization they have different wings for different work they divide it like that right here in school also school is also a very small organization here also english teacher teaches you maths tell me no so no man so everybody no, has yeah everybody has no, spe specialization so they are divided according to their spe specialization and they work accordingly okay right clear okay okay, okay ma'am okay the first surface to air missile program of drdo was called project indigo and it was under an indo swiss agreement to develop intermediate range surface to air missiles which was started by india in 1962 so first program first project of drdo missile program of drdo was surface to air missile program and it, the name of that project was project indigo what is the name of that project 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 indigo project and indigo yeah yeah and indo swiss agreement this project was under what under indo swiss agreement so there was an agreement between india and so like indo swiss agreement to develop and what was their agreement they wanted to develop intermediate range surface to air missiles which was started by india so who started this project india in 1962 ma'am india. india india right see you can see dr apj kalam at the audio as its head you can see in the picture okay but uh, this point is the next point now in 1983 the integrated guided missile development program so acronym for it is you can see idmdp the full form is integrated guided missile development program so with name the name itself you know is very clear integrated it is self explanatory integrated guided missile development program so the program was to develop missile and it was guided and integrated many people were working together and they were guiding also and working on that and this program was launched by the ministry of defense for the research and development of the comprehensive range of missiles so the range of missiles they wanted to develop first before developing anything you have to research on it right so their program was to research and then develop comprehensive range of missiles means lot many you know missiles different different varieties you know they were exploring they were trying to give you the best technology you know to india anyways during 1980 under the leadership of dr abdul kalam drdo successfully developed missiles like prithvi trishul akash and nag indigenously and what is the full full uh, name of dr apj abdul kalam anyone Very good. What's your name? Amit Kumar Pal. Amit. Very good, Amit. Very good. Yes. So the full name of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam is Abdul Bakir Jalaluddin Abdul Abdul Kalam. Okay. Divya Chakshu, which means divine eye. Divya Chakshu means divine eye, is a through barrier imaging radar. developed by drdo and is capable of scanning two walls with divya chakshu means hum kya bolte hain ki lord shiva ka hota hai na divya chakshu right so divya
डिवाइन आई भगवान की आ नाम उसको दिया है दे हैव यू नो गिवन अ नेम लाइक दिस डिवाइन आई बट दिस डिवाइन आई यू नो इट इज एन अमेजिंग स्कैनर इट इज केपेबल ऑफ स्कैनिंग थ्रू वॉल्स विद अप टू ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस यानी ट्वेंटी और थर्टी सेंटीमीटर मोटी वॉल्स के थ्रू ये स्कैन कर सकता है इट इज नाउ बींग यूज बाई द इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेज इन हॉस्टल रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन ओके बिकॉज वेन दे इफ समी होस्टेड सो दे हैव टू रेस्क्यू पीपल सो इन दोज ऑपरेशन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू स्कैन हुर वॉट इज द सिचुएशन इन साइड द बिल्डिंग सो दे यूज दीज स्कैनर्स टू स्कैन वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन साइड द बिल्डिंग राइट क्लियर ओके नाउ इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन जे मंजुला वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द फर्स्ट वुमन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वन ऑफ द सेवन मेन क्लस्टर्स ऑफ डी आर डी आर डी ओ सो देर आर सेवन क्लस्टर्स ऑफ डी आर डी ओ एंड आउट ऑफ दोज द मेन वन ऑफ द मेन क्लस्टर इज वॉट यूर इट इज क्लियरली मैंशन डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम Yes. Yes. So she she was she, she was appointed. appointed appointed J Manjula. She was appointed as the first woman director. So उससे पहले डायरेक्टर्स को है बट कोई वुमन नहीं था कोई लेडी नहीं थी सो शी वॉज डायरेक्टर इज द फर्स्ट वुमन डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज डी आर डी ओज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स ओके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and it is a non toxic weapon and when used can force a terrorist to come out of his hiding ab chili grenade matlab wo mirchi se bana hai but when they throw that grenade itna zyada spice ho jata hai ki wo force kar deta hai terrorist jo chupa hua hai wo automatically bahar aa jayega you know they hide in dens so they'll come out of their den den doesn't mean here the Uh, you know specific then it's a general way to say so obviously it forces a terrorist to come out of his hiding wherever the terrorist is hiding if you know the locality if you have thrown this grenade they will come out because wo itna problem karega unko right and it is non toxic weapon non toxic weapon because it saves his life nahi jayegi it affects is its effect is pungent and may Literally choke a person. उससे एक person choke भी हो सकता है अगर उसको directly हो. Obviously, too much of chili if it's going, or a person can choke. Okay. Now, Brahmos missile. The Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, jointly developed by India's DRDO and Russia's NPOM, is the world's fastest cruise missile. Thanks to DRDO, India is the only country in the world with supersonic cruise missiles in their army, navy, and air force. So no other country in the world has supersonic cruise missiles. Okay, so only India has, right? This much is clear. Yes. Yes, yes. So DRDO, we have covered the chapter. Kindly go through it. Okay, your homework is to go through it. You have to learn the details. There are many things, you know. I may ask, name the Defence Minister of India. Then where is the headquarters of the RDO located? Then what is the acronym of uh, full form of the RDO? Then who designs and develop uh, the equipments, LED equipments for our defence services? Then uh, when was the RDO formed? Okay, and the RDO was formed by merging uh, 
many people? What three organizations? Right. So you should. And how many employees are there in the RDO? How many scientists are there in the RDO? Approximately there are five thousand scientists working in the RDO. Right. And how many laboratories are there across the country? Fifty-two. Very good. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Right. Then under the leadership of Dr. A. P. J. Kalam, the RDO successfully developed what missiles? Name the missiles. So, Prithvi, Prishul, Akash, Nag. These are the names of missiles. Then, what is the concept of Devi Chakshu? Or scanning through walls up to 20 to 30 centimeter thickness is done. Is uh, you know what is that? What scans? So, Devi Chakshu scans. So it is a through barrier imaging radar, right? Who developed it? DRDO, right? And first woman director general of the Defence Research and Development Organisations, Electronics and Communication System, J. Manjula. And when did she was appointed? She was appointed in 2015. Now 2015. Yes. Okay, so I hope this much is clear. Now let's come to this technical terms. Yes. Ma'am, ma'am, जब कोई मिर्ची ma'am उसका S H U जब 100 से 2500 होता है तो वो mild होता है और medium में 2500 से 30000 होता है तो medium होता है और hot में Thirty thousand के one lakh के बीच में वो बहुत ज़्यादा तीखा लगता है, लेकिन मैम जो वर्ल्ड की हॉटेस्ट चीज़ है जो है कोलेरेटा रिपर, उसका जो एसएचयू है वो one lakh six hundred forty one one hundred eighty three है। Very good. See, this boy is discovering. Children, you should learn. You know, you should discover things. If you learn to discover things. I have only told you about Chili Rene and he has searched and he is telling me the more details. So that is very, very good. Commend me. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So now come to technical terms. A number of technical terms are given below. Read the statement and try to identify each term. So it is this uh, chapter is related to computers, your technology, and it is very easy. Right. So I want any one child to read number one. Ma'am, may I? Yes. Ma'am, may I read? Yes, yes, read. Ma'am, when an electric electronic device is receiving power but is not running, it is in this mode. For example, a television is in this mode. When it is plugged, it but turned off. In such a situation, the television can be started again with the help of remote control. This mode is synonymous to sleep while referring to computers. Uh, to computer, very little power in this mode. Very good. Now, what is the answer? Ma'am, the answer is standby. Yes, so because when any. Yes, when any. An electronic device, you know, is receiving power, but it is not running, right? You're not working on it. So it is in this mode. For example, a television is in this mode when it is plugged in, but turned off. That means button on it, red light jewelry, but the remote is off. In such a situation, the television can be started again with the help of a remote control. So this mode is synonymous to sleep. That means the television is sleeping. So this mode is synonymous to sleep. While referring to computers, when we refer it to computers, this way computers are in sleep mode. Screen saver comes when you're not working on the computer. So computers are very little power. The computers use very little power in this mode. And what is that mode? Stand by. Stand by. Okay. Stand by, right number, uh, stand by here. Okay. It is sometimes called AI. Ab AI se hi aap 
आपको इसका आंसर पता चल गया यू कम टू नो वॉट इज ए आई बिकॉज इट इज रेली यू नो अट टॉपिक दीज डेज अट सब्जेक्ट दीज डेज एवरीबडी टॉक्स अबाउट इट इज एन इट इज इट इज इन डिमांड राइट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इट इज दबिलिटी ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर टू एक्ट लाइक अ ह्यूमन बींग so it is the ability where computer can act like a human being a robot is also built a computer robot is also built and it is the most common use commonly used in video games where the computer is made to act as an another player you all go to playstation you all must have been to a playstation so usme kya hota hai aapka jo machine hoti hai wo aapka dusra player hota hai and you are the one player so this is this is because of which technology because of ai that is artificial intelligence so here the answer is artificial intelligence number 3 it refers to technology is used to detect and recognize human physical characteristics it is used in computer science as a form of identification and access control it is also used to identify individuals and groups that are under surveillance now बायोमेट्रिक्स द आंसर इज बायोमेट्रिक्स बेटा आप लोगों ने देखा होगा आप लोग स्कूल आते हो आपने देखा होगा जब मैम आती हैं सारे टीचर्स आते हैं तो हम थम लगाते हैं एक मशीन में तो अपनी आइडेंटिटी के लिए राइट क्योंकि मेरा साइन तो कोई भी बना सकता है बट मेरा जो फिंगरप्रिंट है मेरे थम का वो मेरा ही होगा राइट नो बडी कैन डू दैट right to so, a fingerprint that is biometric so it is it refers to technology used to detect and recognize human physical character wo human physical physical character human ka recognize karti hai ye machine and computer science mein use hota hai as an you know a form of identification and access control kisi bhi cheez ke access control ke liye these days in phones you have face identification also yes aapka face scan hoga to face lock right so it is also used to identify individuals and groups agar jo surveillance mein hai individuals ek group uh, group mein hai unko bhi identify karne ke liye use hota hai right so the answer is biometric right biometrics now in some phones there are sensors behind it yes in the back yes yes see these days technology is advanced in such a way that you are using everything but you don't know what it is exactly right uh, number 4 this term is used to describe a preset value for some option in a computer program it is the value used when a setting has not been specified by the user the answer is default matlab jo preset value hai wo aa jayegi jo humne set kiya wo nahi aayegi so the preset value that is the default value which is set by the computer will come but the whatever value we have specified is not coming so that means it is a default value right so here the answer is default okay now next number 5 The name, this name, combines the terms iPod and broadcast into a single catchy word. As the name suggests, it is audio and video broadcast that can be played on an iPod. Okay, that is, देखो, iPod है, iPod, तब वो iPod a broadcast. Yes. वो single catchy word that is podcast. Yes. इंटरनेट इट कैन बी सेल्फ दैट इट इज इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेज इन द इंटरनेट एवोल्यूशन इंटरनेट एवोल्यूशन का नेक्स्ट स्टेज है What is that? Yes. Cloud computing. Because see, it is the use of computing resources. Resources जो हम use करते हैं ना उनको compute करना. Hardware, software resources. And in resources को 
डीलर वो करते हैं एज अ सर्विस एक नेटवर्क पे जो कि इंटरनेट है टिपिकली नेटवर्क इज वॉट इंटरनेट एंड इट कैन बी से नेक्स्ट स्टेज इन द इंटरनेट एवल्यूशन दैट मीन्स आपकी जो हार्डवेयर और सॉफ्टवेयर आप शेयर कर सकते हो इंटरनेट पे राइट शेयर कर सकते हो आपका मॉनिटर इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम आप घर पे रखा है आपका लैपटॉप आप और एक बंदा जो अलग शॉपकीपर है ही कैन एक्सेस योर लैपटॉप राइट एंड उसमें चेंजेस कर सकता है थ्रू नेटवर्क राइट सो वॉट इज दैट इट्स क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग नंबर सेवन इट इज अ मॉडल ऑफ नेटवर्क ऑनलाइन स्टोरेज वेर डेटा आर स्टोर इन पूल्स ऑफ स्टोरेज विच आर जनरली होस्टेड बाई वेरियस कंपनीज होस्टिंग कंपनीज ऑपरेट लार्ज डेटा सेंटर एंड पीपल हु रिक्वायर देर डेटा टू बी होस्टेड बाई और लीज स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम डेम दिस इज क्लाउड स्टोरेज ऑनलाइन स्टोरेज जो होता है आईफोन में यू हैव आई क्लाउड Google's may you have Google's uh, space also drive and all so online storage online storage jo hota hai aapko data save karne ke liye that is what cloud storage isko bolte hai cloud storage right mam jaise mam jaise whatsapp pe hamare koi koi account delete ho jate hai to hum usse backup kar lete hain yes exactly you can get the backup very good number 8 it refers to wireless networking technology that allows computers and other devices to communicate over a wireless signal ye aap sab use karte ho and it is a short for wireless so wifi so what is the full form of wifi wi wireless networking yes the wi fi is often considered as the father of this technology so father of wifi is wi fi and wifi so the full form of wifi is wireless fidelity it can also come so prepare that way also the answer is wifi okay uh, there is a picture here can you identify what is this very good it is mozilla firefox and Google Chrome, very good. You people are, you know, very technologically equipped. You know, you people are using all these every day, right? This is my Mozilla Firefox, and this browser is Google Chrome. Last thing of today's class. Did you know, Li-Fi refers to wireless communication system using. light as a carrier instead of traditional radio frequencies as in case of wifi in wifi we use radio frequencies to communicate but in case of li-fi now li-fi is has come it has obviously not come socially ha everybody is not using li-fi but li-fi is communication communicating through light as in wifi we communicate through radio frequencies in li-fi people communicate through light it will be you know popular as wifi is with time okay yes ma'am i know this technology okay very good you people are well aware of you know new stuff coming up so kindly complete your work revise everything If you have any issue, any problem, you can contact me. You can ask me kindly. Go through it. Learn about the audio. Do the technical terms also. This work and these technical terms, you know, you are already aware of these terms, right? The only thing is you have to yeah, you have to know it properly. You know, you you know you are using all these stuffs, but you don't know what it is exactly, right? Yes, ma'am. So that's all for today's class. Now if you have any doubt you can ask that.